What you saying boys and girls, it's your boy Rough Diamond here, hope we're having a good one, welcome back to another video. Before I start, I just want to say I do not condone glitches, especially ones of this nature, as it's basically cheating, but I do want to bring it to the community's attention so there's a better chance of not being caught out by it. As well as the more we talk about things like this, the greater chance we have the studio hearing about it and fixing it. Also, please don't go and try this glitch. Activision have already banned lots of people from the game and I'm sure you don't want to join them. So I was streaming yesterday with two total randoms with game chat off so I had no idea what was going on and they took me over to the train station, jumped on top of the vehicle and disappeared into the wall. The reason I am showing you guys how it is done so you know how to counter it and once again please don't use it for personal gain and if you do see players taking advantage of it please report them. As you can see on screen we are inside a building that otherwise isn't accessible. There aren't any textures on the floors or walls and you are still able to shoot out, but people can't shoot in. The enemy have no idea where you are, and there's also plenty of places to hide. But as you can see, I didn't hang around and fell through the map, which was actually quite a good view of the map from below. I hope this glitch gets fixed straight away before more people take advantage of it, because as you can see, this guy managed to wipe a whole team on the stairs who had no idea where the bullets were coming from. While I'm on the subject of glitches, the game seems to be full of them, and they only seem to be getting worse. It could be down to the current pandemic and the studio not having enough manpower and resources, but the following glitches are pretty big and happen to me all in one evening. Over the past couple of weeks, there has been a few situations where I've downed an enemy, but didn't actually get the kill. And as you can see on screen, I definitely killed this guy. I know there was a glitch recently where if you hit somebody with a Semtex, you don't actually get a hit marker. And this guy could be potentially self-reviving after being hit by a Semtex from a teammate, but it was too early on in a game for him to actually get enough cash to buy one. My teammate got the kill, even though I killed the guy and I'll be honest I'm not 100% sure but it does look a bit fishy to me. The next thing I want to talk about is self revives. I was playing solos on stream, bought my loadout on a self revive and then made it to the final 10 and then got downed but instead of giving me the chance to use my self revive I got instantly downed. Between then and buying the self revive I didn't get downed once and from the kill cam you can see it's an instant kill. I then watched the rest of the game and somebody used their self revive so to me, it looks like a glitch that only happens from time to time, and it's actually pretty annoying. The final glitch I want to mention is the records and how many wins it says I have. I was only on 16 wins two days ago and won two games getting the final kills, but my wins stayed at 16, even though I'm 100% sure I have 18 wins. I then spent the next morning going through hours of footage and I can confirm I have 18 wins and not 16. This probably annoys me more than any other glitch as winning is the aim of the game, the end goal. And if they aren't actually counting, what's the point? All games have glitches. It's something we expect in new games, but glitches like this are basic coding and game design. And for basics not to work correctly, it makes me wonder what else isn't properly working in the game. As I said before, I don't blame Activision and Infinity Ward as like most companies aren't far on all cylinders, but I hope this gets fixed ASAP. Warzone since release has been plagued by bloody hackers, and a lot of their resources are going into preventing them from ruining the game, but things like this will also ruin the game. Hacking to get the upper hand or to win a match is embarrassing, what's the actual point? If you're not good at something, put the hours in. You're ruining it for others, taking resources away from the studio who could otherwise be making more content, but instead you decide to cheat. Sorry, I just had to get that out as it's been bugging me recently, especially after Activision released how many people they have banned for cheating. Right, that's it for this video, only a short one, something I noticed while I was streaming yesterday. And as there was four glitches in one evening, I definitely had to make a video on it, especially the wall glitch. Like if you like, comment and sub. I've been your boy Rough Diamond. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you don't miss on my next catch another video soon later strong take it easy uh-huh uh listen shade strong listen shade